Can a plane that looks more like a flying whale than a jetliner really be one of the most important aircraft in aviation? The Airbus Beluga isn't built to carry passengers or win awards for elegance, but it plays a role no ordinary airliner could ever dream of. From wings longer than a house to entire fuselage sections of giant aircraft, the Beluga carries the future of aviation on its back. But the bigger question is, how did this strange-looking airplane become one of Airbus's most vital creations? Act of Tuan, the beginning, 150 to 200 words. The story of the Beluga starts in the early Early 1990s, when Airbus faced a huge problem. The company was growing fast, building aircraft like the A320 and the massive A340. But the parts needed to assemble these jets weren't built in one place. They came from factories all across Europe. Wings in the UK, fuselage sections in Germany, cockpit parts in France, tails in Spain. To put the pieces together, Airbus needed a way to move giant components quickly and safely. At first, they relied on a fleet of converted Boeing 377 Super Guppies, which had been doing the job since the 1970s. These planes were slow, outdated, and increasingly unreliable. Airbus knew it needed a replacement, something faster, more efficient, and designed specifically for its unique transport needs. So in 1992, Airbus launched the A300-600ST program. Its mission? To build a super transporter unlike anything seen before. And with its distinctive shape and massive cargo bay, the aircraft quickly earned its nickname, the Beluga. The Airbus Beluga wasn't just another cargo plane. It was a flying solution to Airbus's biggest logistical problem. By modifying the A300-600, engineers created a massive, bulbous cargo hold that stretched 7.4 meters in diameter, wide enough to fit aircraft wings and fuselage sections whole. This design gave the Beluga its iconic whale-like shape, and with it, the name that stuck forever. But here's the genius. The cockpit was lowered below the main deck. That way, crews could load and unload cargo without removing the flight controls. A unique unique feature that saved time on every mission. With a payload capacity of around 47 tons and a range of about 1,500 miles when fully loaded, the Beluga wasn't about long-haul flights. It was about speed, efficiency, and volume. Other cargo planes like the Boeing Dreamlifter would arrive later, but in the mid-90s, the Beluga set the standard. Its cavernous space made it possible to move massive parts in record time, keeping Airbus's assembly lines running smoothly. It wasn't just a plane, it was an engineering bridge that held Airbus's global supply chain together. Without it, Airbus simply couldn't have competed on the scale it did. By 1995, the first Beluga entered service, and Airbus quickly expanded the fleet to five aircraft. Their mission was clear. Keep Airbus factories supplied and synchronized across Europe. From the UK's Broughton plant, with giant wings, to Hamburg, Toulouse, and Seville, Belugas flew almost daily, carrying oversized sections that no other plane could manage. In a way, they became Airbus's secret weapon. While Boeing relied on sprawling U.S. facilities, Airbus perfected distributed manufacturing, linking multiple countries into a single supply chain. And the Beluga made it possible. But the Beluga's role wasn't limited to Airbus alone. Over time, these aircraft also carried helicopters, satellites, and even pieces of space equipment. With such versatility, they earned a reputation as one of the most useful oversized cargo planes in the world. Still, they weren't designed for massive scale. With only five Belugas, every flight was carefully scheduled, almost like clockwork. Airbus's ability to deliver aircraft on time often depended on whether a Beluga could make the trip. The Beluga may have looked odd in the skies, but inside Airbus's operations, it was the beating heart of production quiet, consistent workhorse that never sought the spotlight, but always delivered. As valuable as the Beluga was, it wasn't built to last forever. By the 2010s, Airbus's aircraft were getting bigger, especially the A350 and A380 wings, which stretched beyond what the Beluga could comfortably carry. Its payload of 47 tons and range of 1,500 miles worked fine for earlier needs, but Airbus required more volume, more efficient, and more flights. The answer? The Beluga XL a next-generation super transporter based on the Airbus A330. First flown in 2018, it offered 30% more cargo space than the original, carrying payloads of up to 51 tons and oversized parts the old Belugas simply couldn't fit. Even its cargo bay stretched over 8 meters in diameter, making it possible to haul two A350 wings in a single trip. By 2021, the Beluga XL began replacing the older Belugas on Airbus's busiest routes. The classic fleet wasn't retired, though. They were gradually transitioned into a new role, offering their oversized cargo services to external clients. The truth was clear. Airbus had outgrown its beloved Beluga, but rather than scrap it, they doubled down, evolving the idea into something even more powerful. Today, the Beluga holds a unique place in aviation. It may never have carried paying passengers or broken speed records, but it quietly shaped Airbus's success story for more than two decades. Without it, Airbus couldn't have managed its multinational production model or delivered so many aircraft on time. And its legacy continues. The Beluga XL now takes over the heavy lifting for Airbus, while the original Belugas have been freed to serve new customers worldwide. 
flying helicopters, satellites, and industrial equipment that can't fit into any other cargo plane. But perhaps the Beluga's greatest legacy is its reminder that aviation isn't just about sleek passenger jets or military fighters. Sometimes the planes that truly shape history are the strange-looking workhorses, the ones that solve the unglamorous but essential problems. From whale-shaped oddity to industrial lifeline, the Airbus Beluga proved that in aviation, purpose can be just as powerful as beauty. The Airbus Beluga may look like an oversized joke to some, but its story proves one thing. Aviation is about solving PR.